Hello, welcome to day 29 of 30 in 30 challenge, 30 days, 30 videos. This is Sandy Herrick with Ignite Best Practices. And um, today we are going to continue the conversation on the Prepare and Rich uh, model that was developed. It's a global model. Is known worldwide. It was uh, developed by its founder, David Olson, and it's based on many marriage and family therapy theories and other models that are systemic. And what we mean systemic is an approach. Uh, so the relationship coaching, just like marriage and family therapy, uh, this systemic approach goal is to help the individuals to focus a little bit more uh on themselves in the variety of roles on their various relationships. So uh, the goal here is to help people address their uh, conflicts or difficulties or whatnot that they come to services for, not just at the individual level, which has been the focus on earlier forms of therapy, but also as a very dynamic part of a system that is bo both influenced uh, by them as much as the system having an influence on them. Um, so the interactions of the individual as a group and the group with the individual are really the, the thing that we are looking at. So we explore subsystems sometimes too. Uh, and we refer to those as diets because they're like alliances sometimes and things like that. And, and we explored those too because uh, blockages sometimes... Uh, take residence on those uh, alliances and things like that. So um, the role that the issues and difficulties or the complex uh, have for the group stability uh, or the individuals in it. Um, that is to say that sometimes the group or the person, uh, whether it is an overt agreement or it is a silent agreement, they kind of collude sometimes to keep things going because they truly do not know how to be with each other unless the dynamics of the difficulties are at the center. And sometimes these dynamics and difficulties serve as a distraction for individuals to do personal work in the context of who they are with their partners as it is in a couple's relationship. So the services address uh, difficulties through the use of an interview. So there's a full interview. And then there's this computerized assessment that I shared with you in the last video. And individuals take this um, a computerized assessment separate, but the report comes combined. Um, we facilitate a conversation after that on sessions uh, between the partners so they can discover this emotional organization of their relationship as it's reflected on this facilitator report that I'm going to have and also the report that the couples are going to have. So the, the assessment will also give me a report for myself so I can organize the, the course of the sessions that are going to follow. So, um, and perhaps... They're looking at this emotional organization for the very first time in their lives. Um, they engage in this curriculum of Prepare and Rich as part of the services. Um, there is a workbook involved in here. So there's documentation that the individuals have as a tangible, something that they can sit and discuss in between sessions. And in this way, they continue improving their relationship. And as I mentioned earlier, there's a one-year checkups uh, that are computerized as well. So um, just a little bit of the elements of it. We start by identifying 10 different areas and scaling them. We rate them. Um, we discuss the results. These are going to be shown um, on the report that the couple is going to receive uh, from the assessment. We're going to discuss the relationship dynamics. We're going to discuss uh, their styles of closeness and flexibility, both uh, as they learn or got scripted from their family of origin, as well as how they're acting it out in their relationship. Um, and we call that mapping. Um, and what else do we do? Uh, we do the personal stress profile. Uh, we check on marital satisfaction scales and also commitment scales. Uh, so uh, that's a lot of information. So you can see where this is also a very robust assessment and curriculum here uh, towards relationship coaching best practices. Incidentally, depending um, on where the individuals are at in marriage and family therapy after they have uh, 
getting out of the less percentage of functionality towards more functionality. This is an opportunity also for um, clients to use this Prepare and Rich as an overlap um, and in the context of coaching um, for best practices. Um, issues of domestic partner violence and abuse are examined, but obviously we have spoken earlier that even in therapeutic clinical services, to couples, um, services are contraindicated. We have to focus on uh, the protection of the person who's the victim and referring the perpetrator to supportive services so they can address their behavior problems. But there's also two types of domestic partner abuse, and we talked about the Gottman um, frame from John Gottman um, of um, characterological uh, abusers or situa situational abuser. And the situational abuser, we can work with those after crisis is stabilized. Um, characterological abusers, that's, um, I don't particularly focus on treating characterological abusers uh, for behavioral management treatment. I might focus more on the victim side, on the trauma side. Uh, we cannot treat, I mean, because the license says we could, doesn't mean we specialize on all of that. I'm focusing, my focus is not, uh, but they do need services and the referral will be made. Problematic sexual behaviors are also examined in this um, coaching and if there are a need for uh, a referral to a provider that specializes on problematic sexual behavior or sex addiction or whatnot, that will be done as well. Sex addiction is not a diagnosis in the DSM Mental Clinical Services Manual, so, um, but there are people that do specialize on sex addiction um, and problematic behavior like that. I hope you have found this informative. Tomorrow we have the last one. Help and light, everybody. Bye-bye.